a therapy appointment. This week is my week to take Braley. We have Norton and Braley back here, and we got some time. We have about 15 minutes to pass by here while we wait for the appointment. So I decided, hey, why don't I just grab some coffee? Grab your coffee, grab your cups, grab your lattes, grab your frappuccinos, grab your tea, because it's time for Coffee with David. Breaking news, our pool was overflowing. Yesterday, there I was, working on a video. I have this noise, turns out it was water that I forgot to turn off about five hours prior. I meant to just fill a little bit into the pool, you know, bring the level up a little bit, but I ended up forgetting about it. It overflowed. Uh, it started leaking from the pump port. Just not a very good situation. Um, I was worried that the overfilling would cause more stress on the legs and stuff, so I set up my siphon hoses, get some of that water out of the pool, what worried me too is the water is displacing the dirt that where it was pouring out and making this side like sink down to the ground and becoming unlevel. A lot of thoughts going through my head, but I did was able to siphon the water out, get it back to its normal level, and there we go. So all in all, I learned my lesson. Never forget running water. That is a valuable lesson right there. I didn't flood to the yard too much. I mean, yes, the yard needed watering, but not that kind of watering. In other news, I almost hit a turkey this morning. Turkeys are out and about. Very active turkey day today. There was a bunch of babies, a bunch of big ones. Usually, I'm, I'm very hyper aware of things on the road, especially after my deer car incident. After the deer incident that happened back in November, where I hit a deer, I've been hyper aware of all my surroundings while driving. Even then, there's sometimes there's no avoiding animals that come onto the road. I mean, we're, we are literally driving through their territory every day. I have a lot of driving experience in my life. I drove the Humvees in the military. I drove UPS truck. They put me through two weeks of driver training before I even started the job. I, did, I was even a milkman for a short period of time. I have a lot of solid driving experience. No matter how much driving experience you have, animals can throw a wrench in that machine. <laughs> when I saw that turkey flying up toward the window, I had flashbacks of that deer. That's scary. I mean, it brings me back to that season of life as well. The time I hit the deer. That was a rough period of time. And that brought back some memories. And I mean, on top of it, it's a rainy day. We do need the rain. So let's move right on to weather. It's raining. Hope you're enjoying coffee. So let me know what, uh, let me know what kind of coffees you're drinking right now. Or what kind of beverage you have. It's okay to not drink coffee. I know not everybody is not a coffee Stacy is not a coffee drinker. Braley's not a coffee drinker. I am a coffee drinker though. Sorry about the windshield wiper in the background. I just realized it's been going on this whole time. I think we need a vacation. I think we need to go somewhere. Yes, our house is awesome. We... we absolutely love being at home at our new house but I mean we've done we've been working on it non-stop for months and on top of that um, we haven't done a vacation I know some people I understand that some people can't like they can't even go on a vacation even if they wanted to I understand that um, for us we work toward vacations instead of putting money aside for XYZ we always have this vacation idea, like we we made it a point to save money for vacations. Um, we haven't went on a vacation since Disney, going on about a year and a half ago. I haven't really taken time off since then. In fact, I have only had a couple days off in the last year and a half, because I work seven days a week. It reminds me of where we were at like five years ago. We were at a point where we were living paycheck to paycheck, putting all of our bills 
in the credit cards. We were risking eviction. The cost of living was skyrocketing. We were making less. It just wasn't happening. Something had to change. <laughs> and Braley agrees that that change was great because we ended up moving to Minnesota. And working, like I made it a point to work my butt off for the last three years. I rarely have days off. I work for myself. I'm, I'm my own boss. I'm a self-employed person. There's been so many days where I get two hours to four hours of sleep at night because I YouTube, I work, and then all the other things that I do. Like I want to make sure I don't take away time from my family, things like that. And I think it's starting to pay off a little bit. I think it's paying off toward a vacation. No sleep days. I mean, there's so many days where I'm just working until like 6 a.m. in the morning. And I'm like, wow, this is all worth it because we're going to get to a point where I won't have to do that anymore. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see. What I want to leave you with today, even when things don't seem great, if something isn't working, make a change. Let's wrap this up. Don't forget running water. Animals on roads are unavoidable. What was the third thing that I talked about? We need a vacation. Braley, you're the best. <laughs> Norton, you're awesome too. <laughs> I love how you just sit there like a human being. It's time to go into therapy. Thank you for everybody for listening to this Coffee with David. Coffee's good. Talking's good. We'll see you next time on Coffee with David. Say bye, everybody. Bye, Found it. Yeah. <laughs> Best time to practice singing. 5 a.m. Thank mm -hmm. you.